Guys, my name is Salim J. Manuel and today I'll be showing you how to use your satellite finder. Yes, how to use it to operate it and how to use it to track your channel. So, somebody asked me how can I use my satellite finder. So, the, fact, the satellite finder does not matter. But if you cannot to, to use this one, then you are good to go. So, I'll be showing you how to use your satellite finder any map. So, just follow this video and you're gonna learn how to use your satellite finder okay so the first step on your satellite finder and after owning it now i'll be showing you how to use it after owning it there, there are some buttons here you have the menu button the records and the rest exit button and the rest now if you want to manipulate a satellite finder it's the same way as manipulating your decoder so you press on your menu button let me say you want to to install a channel like Siawu TV, which is ETSAT, UTSAT 16A, you enter into your satellite, and those are the satellite names. So you can add your satellite, you can edit your satellite, you can delete your satellite, and you can scan your satellite. So when you see this, the add to represent the, the red button, yellow, the edit represent the um, green button, yellow represent um, delete, and the um, blue represent the scan so if i'm to add a satellite i will press the red button and it gives me the name so i'm to write my name i'll press on ok and type in the name now if i want to change these cases to upper case i'm going to click on my page which is green my page is going to give me upper case so uh, let me say i want to write it as um um a lmg start and write sat now after writing that lmg sat you want to save you click on your yellow since i save here is the um, the yellow button commands the save so you press on your yellow it saves the name automatically now you can decide to put your your latitude here which is the angle of the dish maybe you want to put 16 or 28 or you can put anyone so i can just leave it i can just allow it to be zero zero now i'm going to press my my confirm button which is um the okay which is confirm which is yellow i'll press my yellow button and it's so the safe so this is how you can add your satellite now if you want to add a tp which is your transpose to this a frequency you click on your satellite button because here is transpose you click on your satellite i've inside click on info click on your satellite button it takes you now to the tp section and if you are to add a tp let me go back i need to select it and click on tp now if you want to add your tp do the same process and you click on your red button you do the same process to put a tp let me say you want to put 108 which is your um tv spot and you go down the frequency is 10804 Range. now the, 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 the frequency is 10804 and this other one is um, 30,000 30, and you save go and save so that is how you can save a TP so if you want to edit the name of a satellite you see press on the edit and you change the name that is how you do it if you want to delete you press on the yellow button delete this is it so it shows this x sign this x means to delete and you want to delete you press your red again which is to delete the command you want to delete all your satellite you press your blue delete all so i don't want to delete i was just showing you on how to do it now if now you see something like a spectrum this spectrum shows you the way if you track your channel it shows you the the, the variation of your your frequencies that are on that particular satellite so this is the graph is the satellite finder is not yet connected so that is why it's below like that so we have the loop here now in this loop let's just say you are tracking your your um, your um, equinox let's just say you are tracking your um, your common satellites with chinese which are um, UTSAT. 
you just come and input the frequencies here and let's just say like the first frequency that i've inputted here is um 12 6 8 7 vertical 30,000. then i've inputted another one which is um 10 84 vertical 30,000. now if this frequency here has quality and this one is uh, not stable it's going to indicate here so this is this is the uh, the function of this loop search is very important this loop stage is very important why why the um the calculator this calculator shows you like you need to choose the satellite that you want to work on let me see you test 16. now when you choose the satellite it shows you the angle and the position the degree of the dish the position of the dish where the the the, the dish needs to fall if it's west or the east this is it it shows you the calculation so that is the function now now we have the system here this system here let's just say you are not a, you are just a beginner in satellite work and you don't know how to track chinese where you need to put your beep you need to make sure your beep is on so you go to um, osd settings and you enter there now when you enter there you are going to see some functions here let me see you want to make your satellite finder to be transparent you need to enter into your osd and this is a this is a time so if i'm putting to 40 it's going to be transparent if i put it to zero your it's not your background is not going to show so i need to put it at 30. now if i want to on my beep it should be indicating the sun this is a function here big so i'm going to on it and i'll save it now if i go back to my installation it's going to be beeping that is beep, beep, beep. now with this sound now this sound is good because if you are tracking your china and you have the signal it's going to beep with a faster it's going to beat with a fast speed that is the that is the important of the sound so it's very important for beginners but if you are a professional you can remove it from your satellite finder so don't forget to like this video you share the video and you comment the last thing don't forget to subscribe if you are new in this channel please subscribe so that you see all my videos of dropping on this channel and don't forget to share the video don't forget to share the video